I greet you all, beloved, in the wonderful name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. You will come to this channel. God is saying we can be tested, but we will not be defeated. Hallelujah. So I just want to share a testimony about fake churches. Hallelujah. Last year, in the year of January, uh, somebody brought a prophecy to me in one of the churches I have visited. Hallelujah. As I visited the church, I wanted to find out exactly what were they really about um, as I was moving close to the church to stay there. And as I kept on going there, I realized that, yes, they're talking about the God that I am praying. Yes, they are really uh, praying the same God. But there was one day where I got a prophecy about me. The prophecy was saying there, I have millions that are lying at the bank, but I need to provoke God to bring them. And as I was prepared to take the prayer and provoke them, I prayed in my house alone. I remember I was in the showers like, God, I don't know what is this, but remember, I trust you in everything. You haven't said anything to me about millions that are just going to come, but I know that you are going to be with me. So we took the, the, the prayer with the pastor as he was as he was praying he told me god is saying i need to go to the loan to the bank and take the loan and as i'm as i was supposed to go and take the loan i have to bring it to church as a sacrifice and to me i didn't really understand to say i will be going to the bank to have a loan i'm broke i'm going to ask for the loan how am i going to pay that money back and in my mind, I prayed to God and I said, God, I don't want this to happen. I don't understand, Lord, why would you even specify the money? And I was told that I have about 17 million that God wants to give me. And if God wants to give me 17 million, I have to at least have 150,000 given as a sacrifice to God. And I said to God, God, I never thought I will buy wealth from you i don't even feel you are speaking to me about money as i'm currently in challenges of money i know lord i have to tithe according to what i receive i know lord i have to give and the bible says blessed is the hand that giveth so yes i know i have to give but this type of breakthrough that is coming with me going to the bank and borrow money why can't I work for it until I have it? And I kept on going to the prayer session to say I must be going to the bank. Um, the only part that God revealed to me, he said to me, you must go and work for the money. Don't go to the bank, work for it. So when I took the feedback to the pastor to say, you rather give me time to work for the money that I need to put as a sacrifice instead of me uh, going to borrow the money. So he asked me how long will it take. I said the whole year. As I was saying the whole year, the pastor changed the face. He got irritated. He said um, people are not serious about receiving breakthroughs from God. People are not serious about doing what God wants them to do. God needs you to get the 150 so you get, get the, the, the 17 million immediately. And as I left home, um, I received a call to say there is a bank that can actually borrow me 150 without even following up on the credit score uh, or credit record. And I realized this is a fake church. I realized that this is not God. God cannot run in this way. I realized that as the Holy Spirit said, I will follow. So now, beloved, when we say if you receive a prophecy, you need to ask God. You need to be in you need to be in alignment with the Spirit of God so that if such comes up, you can also be able to talk to God. If your co if your communication or connection is broken with God, it simply means you are going to do whatever a person tells you to do. You're not even gonna be able to test the spirit of God if it functions 
functions in this church. You're not even going to be able to stand on your own and say, but the Lord said this to me, but God said this to me. After that, I realized, I told them that I'm not going to do what God hasn't confirmed to me. And in that way, I will have to leave that church. So God today is just speaking a lot about people not or people ignoring God's voices versus the pastors versus the prophets versus the bishops and the ministers I, I'm not saying don't listen to prophecy but I'm saying beloved it is important for you to also search the Spirit of God it is very important for you to search the Spirit of God Today, people are hungry. Today, people are very desperate for money. People are very de desperate for positions. But God is saying, search the spirit. And the only way to identify the spirit, which is not of God, it is the connection that you have with the Holy Spirit. The Lord says in his word, I don't leave you alone. I leave you the Holy Spirit. It means if you lack communication with the Holy Spirit, then you'll be misled every time. Stay blessed and continue to watch the channel in Jesus' name. Amen.